Six fifty degrees outside our East Providence studio on this Monday morning. Always tough to get back into the swing of things after a long holiday weekend, especially when you do a lot of eating and lounging. <laughs> yeah, right? A lot of lounging. That went fast that weekend. Too fast. All right, we've got clear skies though and mild temperatures. So if you do have to get outside early this morning, at least you're not having to uh, brace yourself for some cold air. In fact, in New Bedford, the temperatures have stayed above 50 throughout the night. And look at these beautiful skies in Narragansett here. Still about a half hour away from the sun coming up. 48 degrees in Smithfield currently. It's 50 though. Providence, Newport, 51 in New Bedford and 53 degrees in Westerly. We still have some active winds, especially coastal areas, including Groton and Mystic. Westerly sustained winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts. And those winds will be part of the weather story for today. It's a mild start to the day, but a cooler finish as we get some gusty northwest winds in from the midday hours into the afternoon and it comes with generally dry skies. Two rain chances that I'm tracking this week, Wednesday afternoon and then again Saturday afternoon and those come with roller coaster temperatures. You're going to see us fluctuating between the 50s for highs and 40s for highs this week. Looking at our live radar this morning as the radar uh, sweeps across the area, not finding any precipitation locally. Couple of sprinkles associated with a cold front coming through that front's going to swing across southern New England by the end of the morning and behind it is where the colder air is so 50s out ahead of the front and 30s and 40s behind it and so that cool air will try to come in by the afternoon hours will hold around 50 to 52 during the morning noontime as well gusty and partly sunny at noon and then heading into the second half of the day we're going to fall back into the 40s about 49 at two o'clock 45 at 4 and by 6 this evening we're down to near 40 degrees and the winds still busy even at 5 6 o'clock this evening they're strongest though from the late morning and early afternoon about 10 to 2 where we're going to be getting some gusts between 20 and 30 miles per hour and sustained winds at 15. As for tonight winds will be dying down skies will be clear and it's back to some colder more typical late November temperatures falling to the upper 20s by dawn tomorrow morning as that front comes through some increase clouds this morning, but again, other than a sprinkle, we're generally dry. Two o'clock in the afternoon, clearing back out. Sunshine to finish out the day. Clear skies overnight and a quiet Tuesday ahead. Less wind, but cooler temperatures and mostly sunny skies. Then the clouds roll back in. This is Wednesday morning dry. You can see some rain to the west of us. That'll be moving in with a cold front. So by late afternoon, we have a rainy finish to the day and that rain will continue into the early part of Wednesday night. There'll be some downpours looking at about a half to three quarters of an inch of rain with that front on Wednesday. Wednesday, and it comes with some gusty winds as well as we take a look at some of the wind potential here starts off light Wednesday, but in the later afternoon and evening could get some wind gusts in the range of 40 to 50 miles per hour, especially along the coastline. So a heads up for that Thursday. It's brisk and cooler back into the 40s after briefly seeing that mild air come back in on Wednesday. So Low 50s today, 40s for highs tomorrow, then upper 50s with the rain on Wednesday.